weekend and it is almost here. There are so many fun things to do here in Southern California. Michael Giuliano is an editor at uh, Time Out Los Angeles. He is back with some of his top picks and Michael, we would of course be lost without you. <laughs> what is going on in downtown? Uh, something free, which is always great. Uh, so tonight is Dance DTLA. Uh, this has actually been happening all summer, but we're kind of in the home stretch. I can't believe we're at that point where it's like, it's almost August, you just, yeah. yeah, like you have a few weeks left for these things. Um, but this, as you can see, it's like part dance lesson, part performance. So the evening kicks off with um, a little lesson. This Friday, it's line dancing, or tonight, I should say. Yeah. Uh, it's line dancing, and then there's normally like a DJ so or performer. Hat. Yeah, bring your cowboy hat. I, I got my boots on, so I'm all good. Uh, the next few weeks are stuff like samba, disco, uh, and also in mid-August, there's a 20th anniversary birthday bash with uh, cake and champagne. Oh, fun. Yeah. All right, so then there's something called Midsummer Scream coming up. Yes. What is that? Maybe the only thing scarier than the home stretch of summer is that Halloween is, like, kind of here. Uh, and this is a tease at... Uh, the Long Beach Convention Center that kicks off tonight and runs through Sunday. Uh, and it's for horror and Halloween fans and like specifically Halloween, right? So you'll, you know, you'll get like your, your kind of horror vendors and screenings, but it really kind of goes all in on the holiday aspect because there's uh, about a dozen haunted houses that set up that you can explore. Um, there's mm -hmm. also for the scaredy cats among us, there's a pumpkin patch. There's this area called the Black Cat Lounge where there's adoptable cats. So not all things that are intent on scaring you straight, but um, there's a lot of like really big names there, you know, like Universal, not Six Flags, like all, all the big haunted houses kind of have a little bit of a tease. There's Tickets like range from like 30 something to 50 something, depending on when you go. All right, so if you, if you want to get in the Halloween spirit months early, yes. this is the <laughs> event for you. I, I think Halloween starts after Labor Day. That's just me. But um, also, uh, Mel Brooks is in person somewhere this weekend, right? Yeah, so on Saturday at the Peacock Theater, they're hosting a screening of Blazing Saddles, the 50th anniversary of it, which is wild. Uh, and then it'll be followed by a Q&A with Mel Brooks himself. Now, this is the classic uh, Western satire that he directed uh, and co-wrote. Stars Cleavon Little, Gene Wilder. Hilarious, hilarious movie. Uh, now, Brooks is 98 years old. I saw a clip of him wow. speaking recently, though, and he's still, like, so sharp. I actually had a chance to see a pretty similar event to this when he was but a spry 90-year-old. Um, <laughs> and he's amazing. He's, he's just, like, so animated, has so many stories to tell, everything from making the movie to all his other classics, you know, Young Frankenstein, you, you name space it. Spaceballs. Oh, yeah, Spaceballs, of course. Um, and even, like, his service in World War II. I mean, the man who made the producers, like, fought the Nazis in real life. Um, and so you'll probably get to hear about that. Tickets, last I checked, start around $60, but it depends where you sit, but kind of a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Yeah, he has a piece of Hollywood history, yeah. and just getting to hear the stories is amazing. For sure. So that, that should be high on the list. And then finally, uh, there's something going on at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah, there's two events this weekend. I couldn't choose just one. Uh, so we'll start with Saturday. It's a, a live scoring of and screening of Barbie, uh, the, you oh. know, of Barbenheimer fame. Uh, so there's this Barbie Land Symphonietta, which is this all women, mostly women of color chamber orchestra that's going to be playing the score for the film live while it screens at the bowl. Um, tickets start around $30. If you show up early, too, you can see some of the costumes from the film in, like, the plaza area of the bowl, which is fun. And then on Sunday, for all the musical fans out there, there's a celebration of uh, Boublil and Schoenberg, which is the pair behind Miss Saigon, Les Miserables. So that evening is kind of split into two. The first act is mostly Miss Saigon, plus a couple other musicals. Second act is a lot of Les Mis. Special guests, too. I think Patrick Wilson is maybe the most notable among them. Um, and since that's also an L.A. Phil performance, tickets start at $15, which is pretty awesome. Wow, so much to do this weekend. Lots Hard to, to do. Hard to fit it all in. <laughs> Michael, thanks for being here. Of course. All right, for more information on any of these events we talked about, check out our website, kcalnews.com, and just click on the Scene on TV tab.